I was out on a walk today with my dog and I picked up this little container. It was on the ground. I guess it was like some sort of mint container. Um, so I brought it home and I took the sticker off and I washed it. And um, now I think this is, it said something like nicotine mint. So I have no idea what it is, what it was really. I probably shouldn't have picked it up off the ground, but um, I did. And this is the container. And I thought this was really interesting. I bet this would make a cool travel palette and I couldn't really figure out what I would do with this weird little compartment that opens up in the bottom but then I had an idea so we're gonna see if it works today and if it does then the video will go up and if it doesn't then I guess it won't but um so what I figured I could do was I could put some half pans in here and and I guess if you had like I, I don't know this is probably a little silly but you could do something like this with whatever tin that you found I'd probably put a little bit of poster putty or double-sided tape there on the bottom. I have this tiny little spray bottle. It's um, it's from uh, like a perfume sample and that goes in there perfectly. And then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could, I could bring a little water brush, I could have an area to wipe my brush on. So I love these little, um, they come a little compressed in like a little coin. They're towels, they're like fabric, like um, camping towels. And I thought, oh, if I could roll that up and put that in the back and have like a little opening so I could um, so I could like put my brush in there and wipe it off. It would be great. So I'm using this little, uh, it's called the Creative Hot Marks. What it is, is a, um, like a little like wood burner thing that's like, I don't know, was fancy and marketed to scrapbookers. And I'm just going to use that to melt through this plastic. I know it's probably not the wisest thing to do inside, but... You know, you could probably use an X-Acto knife. I know it's, uh, I'll take my chances with the fumes over trying to cut plastic with an X-Acto knife. Holy cow, that's thick plastic. Oh, it smells so minty now. Let's see if I can pop that through. I'm actually going to take those things over there. I'm going to pop that through. My pen's a little big for that. Oh, so fancy. It looks so fancy. Um, I'm just going to try to neaten that up a little bit. And probably I'll need to... Alright, alright, it's not looking as cute as I thought it would. Definitely not looking as cute as I thought it would, but... It doesn't have to look cute. It needs to work. Is that going to be able to close? I'm going to need to clean that up a bit. But what I'm thinking is I will be able to roll this up and put that in there for blotting my brush. And since the opening up top is going to be smaller than the opening on the bottom, I will be able to uh, just take this out of the bottom and let it dry when I need to. These are great because you can... Um, Oh yeah, I think that'll work. Because you can rinse them out in the sink and then let them dry and you can even form them into different shapes if you want to. All right, I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife or some sort of crap and see if I can get those burrs off of there. Yep. Don't try this at home, kids. How to turn some sketchy Thing I found on the side of the road. Oh, actually, you know what? I like that it pops it up a little bit because it makes it easier for me to open it. So I'm not going to flatten that out anymore. All right, I'm going to unplug my wood burner thing. I'm going to wipe off the end first, though, because it's gotten very plasticky. Ooh, there we go. Probably melting that fabric while I'm at it. All right, let's unplug that and then. I'm debating whether or not I want to use some colors or some pans I already have poured. I think I do because uh, that way they'll be set up and ready to go and that'll be good. So what do I want for colors? Um, I usually like to do a split primary palette, but I'm not going to have enough space for that. So I got to be a little bit choosy. Um, then again, I get the most versatility from, from a split primary, ugh, split primary palette. So... Yeah, we'll just do that. And I'm going to put a little double stick tape there. I hope I was in frame during all of that fume inducing uh, stuff. 
Let's just do a little strip of double-sided tape there. Then it shouldn't be too crazy if I need to remove them. That should be that should be all right. Okay. It's like why am I doing this? I have so many. I have so many like legit palettes. I don't know what it is. It's like I'm, I'm picking stuff up off the side of the road, even though I have so many legit palettes. Hopefully there's enough sticky on there to grab that. The ultramarine blue seems to have some some stuff in there. Will that still fit in there? Yes. All right. I am going to. These pans were a little bit bigger than the ones that I had originally tried. I'm gonna spray my paint. Let's see. Let's give this a little. Let's give this a little test. Oh, okay. Spraying the paint. Probably shouldn't have sprayed it that much. Plop that right in there. Look at that. That's exciting. Okay, now let me grab a sketchbook and we'll we'll give it a try. So I would take this with a with a water brush and a little sketchbook probably. And uh, we can let's you know what I've been I've been uh I have been going to um I've been taking reference photos as a mountain about. So let's see if I can find something quick and easy to paint. Well, nothing here is probably going to be all that exciting, but you know what? I'm just going to, let's just do a little something on my, in my sketchbook. Um, okay. And I'm just, I mean, obviously this is not a tutorial. This is just going to be, see how it works. Uh, I got my little palette here. This is, I've got two minutes. I got two minutes before this thing, before the, uh, the stuff runs out. The, uh, screen turns off because I just changed it to two minutes more information than you need. But anyway, we're just going to do a little, we're just going to do a little look. Ooh, yeah, we're going to do a little testy roux. I, this is comfortable to hold in the hand. It was funny. I picked it up and as I'm picking it up, I'm like, I probably shouldn't be picking up random things like this off the ground, you know? And then I'm like, oh, what if there's like, um, I, do you ever like see those there's always like somebody sharing something on this way too dark, but anyway, um, there's always people, oh, let's dab my brush there so I can spread it out. There's always people online that'd be like, Oh, don't pick up anything off the side of the road. It could be laced with fentanyl. And you know, I'm in like the middle of the sticks. Uh, so that's highly unlikely. Well, actually, I guess I shouldn't, I shouldn't say anything is unlikely. You never know. Um, but anyway, so, of course, this come this this thought comes into my mind after I've already picked up the uh, the stuff. Like some wispy clouds. This isn't even the right color. <laughs> I've got some chunks of something in my ultramarine blue. I need to clean that out. It's a madhouse. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of like going. These are really bold colors. This is gonna be nothing like my reference photo. That's all right. Uh, oh, I'll have to make my own brown. That's okay though. Oh, that worked pretty good. The tree line back there. Everything is brown right now. It's plain April. Very excited about that. Okay. Eh, that's all right. All right. Oh, no, wipe it on the, this is going to, this rag is going to get depleted pretty quick. I have a feeling, but we'll see. Uh, I'll take a little bit of that lemon. These are Rembrandt colors. I think if I'm remembering correctly. frame. Actually, this is not uh, cumbersome. This is actually pretty a pretty comfortable thing to have in your hand for a palette. Get some snow. So I want to leave the snow bits on the ground.
That makes us a pretty good brown. I'm I'm good with that. Got some of the little snowy bits in there. Let's leave those little patches of snow, a little bit more of the reddish. Little pine needles and stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of happy with this. This is uh, this is pretty cool. Not that thrilled with the uh, smell of burnt plastic in my studio, but this is I'll be done for the day in a few minutes, so I'm not too worried about it. Make some black with the ultra, I think ultra the ultramarine blue and that uh, pyrrole or whatever that red is is gonna do pretty good. Make some little rocks or something. Need some kind of more muted. Oh, you know what? I need kind of like a yellow ochre color. Let me clean that off. Grab a little bit of this. Some more green. It's not the most beautiful scene either, but I'm not like worried about it <clears throat> because of that. All right, now we need some trees. Let's do some more ultramarine blue and some more of the red. I uh, I didn't want to pour fresh paint because I know I have so many palettes I've abandoned over the years. So it's like, I might as well just use something I've got going. I'm doing the plain April challenge such as it is. I'm not like I'm taking reference photos too anytime I'm outside just because Maine is so dicey this time of year as far as being outside. I mean I'm outside with a dog every day but um, I think I want to have, well I kind of want to put a tree coming off from the foreground just to give it a little bit of scale. Maybe I'll make, you know what, I'm gonna make this one come down further even though that's not exactly how it is. I think I'll be fine not having any any neutrals, uh, but the, the thing with Plain April, uh, I really want to encourage, those are my first two Plain April sketches by the way, there's uh, Elegant Rider Rocks and there's some Pussy Willows. Um, Actually, these are all from the same the same area. It's on the school grounds. Uh, the local elementary school. I might want to go with this. I have some Niji br water brushes. I have a couple that are really, um, one that's really really fine tipped, and they're all like shorter than this. So I might just take uh, a couple of those really fine Niji water brushes. Is it Niji? Yeah, because look at this. This is not fine at all. This is very thick. Look at the tip of that. It's, that's a little bit too thick for what I'm doing here. All right, I want to make a, like a piney green color. Wake up. It's a little too vibrant. It's a little marine. Oh, librarian's messaging me. I think she's probably going to tell me that my class is canceled on Thursday because we're supposed to have this big snowstorm. That is the most cliche tree I've ever seen. Let's put another one in there. Let's make it taller though. If one's good, two's better, right? <laughs> oh well, proof of concept. It's fine. I'm going to choose some different brushes, but dude. Uh, that's all right. I'm not mad at that. So, oh, how am I going to clean my palette? I guess. Um, I either have a separate rag, like the other half of that rag. That would work. Let me just move this out of the way. Give a little quick spray. It stains a bit, but it's plastic. Of course it's going to. And then clip that up and I'm on my merry way. Hey, this is great. It's about two inches by, it's two inches by three inches. Exactly. Um, it was free to me because I found it on the side of the road this morning. 
and uh, I think it's kind of funny. So it's kind of fun. So let me know how what palettes what you've used to make palettes in the past. I love this site, this kind of thing. Um, if you're doing plain April, I hope that you are enjoying it again. There's my this is a sketchbook I made. Um, that I'll be using for plain April. It's just, you know, it's uh, some rough watercolor paper and um, so far so good. I want to thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And until next time, happy crafting! Bye!